and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs. I'm really excited today to share with you this gorgeous wig from Godiva's Secret Wigs, Lisa in Raspberry Ice. Now, I have done a review on Lisa before in the playlist, but I feel like now I can do this wig and share this wig review with you with power because I'm so much more at ease with shorter hair. Now, when I first got Lisa, she's a very full wig, as you can see. She's machine teased, which gives her all that beautiful volume. She's a bit of a punk, bit of a punk rock look. She reminds me a little bit of Freedom. And in the next video, I'm going to do a comparison video between Freedom and Lisa. So you're going to see the difference because, in my opinion, Lisa is a shorter version and a more fuller version of Freedom. And I love both wigs. But I really wanted to show you Lisa because I just love it. And when I first got this wig, it was a big shock because my hair was still medium length and I hadn't really had a wig like this before. And it was just like, whoa, you know, there's a lot of hair. Can I pull that off? But as I've had my own hair cut short now, I know that I can pull it off. And I wear this wig quite a lot. And I just threw it on this morning. And I thought, do you know what? I really want to do a video where I can talk about this wig with you and show the wig to you in all its glory and, you know, show you how amazing Lisa really is because I don't feel I gave this wig as much credit as it deserved when I did the first wig review video. So as you can see, she's a very punky look now. First of all, the colour is raspberry ice rooty. This is gorgeous. So it's a raspberry ice R. It's got that rooting there you know, that runs all through the wig. And the best thing about their rooted wigs is they run all through the wig. So it's not just at the parting, it's all over the wig. It's very beautiful. And Raspberry Ice is, it's a red, but it's got hints of caramel, blonde, raspberry tones in there. It's very, very pretty. And I've got this colour in quite a few wigs, long wigs and short wigs. And I always get looked at when I'm wearing Raspberry Ice. I've got her in Kelly. I've got her in Freedom, which I'm going to show you the comparison in the next video. I've got her in Long Candies. You know, I, I love the colour Raspberry Ice. It's a very beautiful, pretty red. And you can see, and I'll do a turn in a second, but look at the colour first of all. That gorgeous colour and tone. Now, the thing that I absolutely love about Lisa is it's got all this body, but you can also flatten it down and it's got all of this lovely razor cutting which I'm going to show you in a second but it's also very tapered into the nape of the neck and that's what I love about the shorter wicks you know there's something comforting about feeling this hair at the back and that's also what I love about freedom wick because freedom wick is a little bit longer than Lisa so it comes more tapered into the the neck into the nape and I'm not surprised it's still in 2023 as well, the top seller. So it's been their top seller for years because of the comforting feeling it gives to you. It gives you freedom, but it also feels comfortable. But if freedom seems a little bit long to you in the neck or you want something with a bit more punkness, a bit more volume, Lisa is another great option for you. And now wearing it, I can't tell you how comfortable I feel. You know, I remember when I first got this wig and I unboxed the wig, and I shared it, there is a video you can go and watch. I did feel a little bit uncomfortable when I put it on my head because it was just too much hair. And I was like, oh my goodness me, it makes my head look big. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know how to tame it. I don't know what to do with these. But the more comfortable you get wearing wigs, all kinds of wigs, the better you feel. And I do feel that if you've always had long hair, if you've got long hair now, or even medium hair, and you put Lisa on, it may be a big shock to the system. But don't give up on Lisa. Give it time. Sit with the wig, maybe have a glass of wine or a cup of tea and allow it to, you know, settle down on your head. And I don't mean settle down as in get flatter. I mean just settle, sink into the, yes, I can pull off this wig. I do like the look of it. It is something a bit different, but I actually do like it. And I do feel that this wig would work for me. And you can put bangs into this wig if you want to. You can wear it over or you can push it over to the side. And the thing I love about Lisa is you don't have to cut the bang. 
you know, I've cut the bang on freedom because it was quite long, but on Lisa, she comes just right. So you can either wear it around the face or you can pull it over whatever's easiest for you. And all this, you know, body and height, you can have it huge and big. You know, it's massive, punk rock, baby. Or you can flatten the loop down and you can also do it with water. So when I put this wig on this morning, all I did was grab my water spray and I just sprayed a little bit of water over the top like this. And then I just used my fingers to settle the style into what I wanted it to be. And look how pretty it is. And I do feel that, you know, if you've got short hair, you know, you'll feel more comfortable wearing this wig than if you've got longer hair, unless you're used to wearing short wigs. So I just want to give you the heads up from my own personal experience with this wig and wearing wigs. When I had longer hair, I found it a little bit strange to wear a shorter wig. And, you know, the same, the opposite, you know, if you've got short hair, you may find it a bit strange and uncomfortable at first to wear longer hair. So it really is about just giving yourself time to get used to it. And look how beautiful this wig is. You know, look how amazing it looks as well. You know, it just looks so pretty on me and, you know, I love it. So it's just all about getting used to the style. That's all it is. And I'm going to do a turn and show you properly. But I've really felt nice wearing Lisa today. I'm going to continue to wear Lisa today. So, you know, I've got to do a little bit of work on my other channel, Guided by Angel. So I'll take her off and put Thin Candice on. But then after, I'm going to put Lisa back on. Because I'm just loving the look right now. So look at this. Isn't she pretty? And she's got so much, you know, height to it and style. You know, the way the, the wig is shaped. The way it easily goes into the nape of the neck. All the razor cutting. It's just an exciting little wig. So I just really wanted to jump on and share this. And, you know, if you want to see the cap construction and the way the wig is, you can check out the other video. But I just wanted to show you the look of her. Actually, let me take it off and show you. So my hair is huge today. I've pushed it all back. I've even got a little band in because of this. You know, I've got this mullet, little mullet going on at the back. So I'm just going to tie that in. And wearing a short wig like Lisa, I do have to make sure all of my hair is back, which is easy to do, you know, if you've got it in a wig cap or if you've got it all pulled back, if you can put it in a pony. But when you've got short hair, you know, just make sure it's all scraped back off your face. So if I turn the wig inside out, I've sewn two wig clips into Lisa there, just two at the front. It's machine teased. It's got all this height and body. It's very comfortable to wear. It's very light wig. There's nothing to this wig at all. You can hold it very easily with your little finger. And it's got lots of breathable wefting at the back. So it's also a great wig to wear with wet hair, you know, because your hair will dry underneath the wig. You know, your hair breathes under the wig, so you don't worry about it stunting your hair growth or anything like that. And it's got bra strap adapters, so you can make them tighter or looser to suit your head. And each of Godiva's wigs comes with a label at the back, so you know where the back and the front is. And it comes with very comfortable ear tabs, which make it look more realistic, but also help you to align the wig straight on your head and align it with your face. So it's a gorgeous wig. So as you can see, when you get Lisa out, she looks like a lot of hair. You know, even though it's a short wig, there's a lot of hair because there's a lot of height to the wig and there's a lot going on with it. So you can see the movement if I turn it around. You know, you've got this gorgeous razor cutting, which makes it very natural on as well. You can see how light it is because you can see as well, you know, the, the breathable wefting there as well. And I just love the style of it, you know. She's punk rock, this wig. It's punk rock wig, love it. And you can see this gorgeous raspberry ice tone, all the reds, you know, the, the raspberry there, the beautiful brighter reds, the darker red, the rooting on it. It's gorgeous, I just love it. So this is how we put it on. You'll see what I mean when I first put it on. So you get your thumbs where the label is, you're going to put the top of the wig about there and you're going to put your head into the wig. And then you're going to find the two side tabs and pull them straight and then you're going to lift the wig up to your hairline it's very quick so I just tuck my little pony in at the back I find the two side tabs and then I'm just tucking in my hair and I'm just flattening the back down a little bit there and then I'm just going to find the hairline so it's about there yeah about there on this wig and then I'm just going to clip it in I forgot to put open my clips never mind it's fine but yeah, let's do it right, Liz. Do it right. 
let's clip her in properly. I hadn't opened my clips then. So another opportunity to see me putting it on, tucking my hair in at the back, get the two wig tabs, the ear tabs, and then I'm just going to tuck in my hair. Just because my own hair is short as well, it can stick out every now and again. And I'm pulling it up. And as I'm pulling it up, the clips that I've sewn in grip my hair. So it's not going anywhere. A few people have said, I want to wear a wig, but I'm afraid of it flying off. If you secure it properly, it's not going to fly off. A lot of people wear these wigs without wig clips and without grip bands and things. And they, they stay on. That's what also those adapters do at the back. So that's about where my hairline is. I'm going to clip her in now. And you can see the wig's not going anywhere. That's only my forehead that's moving. So what I like to do, you can see how, you know, you can use your fingers anyway. She's shedding a little bit there. I don't know why, but probably because I've been flicking it around a lot. These wigs don't shed usually. So it's probably just how I've been storing the wig. But look at that gorgeous caramel tone coming into it there as well. So, you know, it's good to go as she is. You just throw her on and go. But you can, as I said, get water on and spray some water just to break up the fibres to make it look a bit more PC and, you know, to settle it down if you want to. And I just love this little bit. It's very sexy how it goes in the face there. It doesn't annoy either. It's lovely. And again, you know, you can put a bang in if you want to, you know, because you don't need to cut this in. You know, you just pull it over and you've ready-made got your bang just like that. You know, you may just want to trim that little bit there if it's hanging in your eye or you can pull it all over, you know, and I prefer to do that. So just pull it all over. It's a very sexy style as well if you like short hair and I love the razor cutting. So it's just a very, very pretty wig. So I just thought she deserved a bit more attention because I know on the last wig review, even though I reviewed it properly, I may not have given her the love that she really does deserve because she has a very, very pretty wig. And, you know, the good thing about wearing a short wig is if you, lo if you love your earrings like I do, it shows off your earrings. I've got little spiders in today. So just a very, very pretty wig. So I'm going to show you again from the side and from the back, you know, how beautiful she is. You know, and just before you go out, you know, if you're going out in this wig, get your mirror and just check the back. You know, the, the back feels okay, that your hair is tucked in okay, and you're good to go. So Lisa, another fabulous wig, 10 out of 10, from Godiva Secret Wigs. And this is synthetic hair, okay? They work with synthetic hair, wash and wear wigs. When you wash the wig, it's easy to wear. Amazing. Wash and wear wigs, synthetic wigs, fabulous wigs from Godiva Secret Wigs. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.